So this is going to be a video to take you through the beginnings of how to do sentence mining. So before we even start with the sentence mining part, we first want to make a concept. Um, and to do that, so go to contents, you can click contents here to open it and right click, click do new and then get folder. So I can ignore that. Um, and this is going to be my Japanese concept. And so let's say that I also have a folder for IR. So what I can do from here, ignore the blue, is I can right click, I can go to concepts and then I can click on create. So I have this IR concept and I can right click here and I can again click on concept and then do create. And now I have two concepts. Um, <clears throat> so for the very, just very basics of concepts, if you want to switch between concepts, you just click right up here. Uh, if you don't see it and you're just starting out with Superman, you might have to go to file level and go to professional. But if you click here and you type in IR and then you click on this hook, then it changes your default concept. And the reason that you want to do this is that if you're making Japanese cards, you want them to go into a specific folder. Um, and if it all goes into your IR collection, it'll be a mess. So to add cards for Japanese, so we want to firstly change our concept to Japanese. And then we can use add new to just make a new card. Um, now the, the issue here is that for sentence mining, we don't want this like very basic template. We want something that has images and possibly audio as well. And we want like when we do add new, we want it to show that template by default. So we have to do a few things here. Um, so the first is as a base template, let's use control shift M. And what we can do is we can change to item picture. So now we have this template, which is a bit better. It has an image component, um, but we still want an audio component as well. And now we want to do right click. So just right click on empty space and then do template and then do save as template. And I'll just name it S oh, SM. I'll save it SM for sentence mining. And now we can make a few changes. So for our sentence mining template, um, firstly, we want to also have a audio component. So if we want an audio component, if we click on edit, no, wait, where was it? Ah, compose. So if we click on compose and we click on this music note, then we get this completely brand new strange component. And we, if we want to move it and edit things to make them a bit neater, then there's another shortcut we can use control E. So what control E does is if you press it long enough, you'll go into this mode. And in this mode, you can like freely drag around all your material. So if we do that, we can shrink this. And now we have an audio component here. Um, yes. And just to throw something nice in, let's say we want to change the color so we can right click, click on color. And uh, I like this blue, I like this blue. And now we've got our fancy template. And just to make sure it updated, um, let's just go right click on an empty space, go to template, save as template, and then do SM and press enter, and then just do yes and replace it. And now we have our nice template. But the thing is that if we do alt A, it's still showing this same default template, which we don't want. So click on this button right here and then click on Japanese and click on item template and double click on SM. And now that's the default template for Japanese. Um, and you probably aren't going to need it, but it's useful to just double click on these. And this will just make it so that if it, if it can't change the template to fit some thing you're adding, it'll just do it automatically for this uh, concept. So that's useful. And we might also want to change the default priority in case you have other material, material in our collection to maybe like say 60. Uh, and now we can close this. So if we do Alt A, you can see now that it's adding it with the template that we made. Um, and now we're sort of ready whoops, to move on to full sentence mining. So a small thing I just forgot to add is that when you're making the, before you do save template, you want to right click on the image component and then click on answer and then do save as template. Um, and basically the reason for this is that if you select it as answer, then that means it'll show on the back of the card. Uh, there's no image, so you didn't see it, but 
if it's not selected, that means that it'll just show up while I'm doing the repetition and it's asking me the question.